you've already seen how navigation link lets us push to a detail view. This might be a custom view like the one we have here, but it can also be one of SwiftUI's built-in types like a, a text view or an image. You've also seen how the navigation stack automatically provides this back button for us here, which takes us to the title bookworm, as you can see previously, it just slides in and out very, very neatly there, plus the whole interactive swipe, where you can sort of go back and forward freely with your thumb. Uh, so it's really, really nice. However, sometimes you want to go back programmatically. We choose to go back via a button press in the UI rather than waiting for a back button being pressed. And we looked at this before previously. So hopefully this is a good practice for you here. We're going to add an extra button here to our detail view so they can delete whatever book they're looking at right now. And after they've done so, just pop off that view and return to the main view, uh, the book we're listing view. To do this, we're going to show an alert to the user saying, do you really want to confirm this book being deleted? Are you quite sure it's what you want? If they say, yeah, I want to delete it, fine, then we'll delete the book from the current uh, model context, if that's what they've asked for. And then once that's done, there's no point staying on the screen because it's, it's kind of deleted now. So just remove uh, the whole view, go back to the main list instead. So to do this, we need to have some new properties inside our detail view, which is here. Uh, we need one to hold our current model context, so we can actually delete stuff from there. We want one to hold our dismiss action, so we can actually dismiss the view on uh, Meredi, and one to control if we're currently showing the uh, alert or not. Now, uh, we already have this book, so we'll add three more around that. I'm gonna say we have uh, at environment, backslash dot model context, var model context, with an E in the end, there we go. And then at environment backslash dot dismiss the R dismiss action through. And then at state private var showing delete alert is false. The second step is to write a method that deletes the current book from our model context and then dismisses the current view. So it goes back to the main listing area. It doesn't matter if it's being shown using a navigation link or a sheet, whatever. I just seen that same dismiss call works both ways perfectly. So I add a new method down here to our detail view called delete book. This will call model context dot delete passing in our current book and then call dismiss to get rid of the view. The third step is to add an alert modifier that will watch the showing delete alert boolean and ask the user to confirm the action. Do you really want to delete this book? And that's a simpler saying, yeah, we've got the OK button if you want to, whatever. But here we want two buttons appearing on here, one to delete the book and another to cancel. Now, both of these have to have specific button roles attached to them. They automatically make them look correct. We make the most of the way iOS built-in system styling looks. Now, Apple provides very clear guidance on how we should label alert text. And it kind of comes down to a simple rule. If it's a simple, I understand, the user saying, then using OK for the button text is a good idea. But if you want users to make a choice, you should avoid titles like yes or no, and instead use uh, actual verbs, ignore, reply, confirm, and similar. In this instance, when you use delete for the destructive button, so the users know that means it's going away for sure, and provide a cancel button next to it so they can back out and deleting if they want to. And so we'll add a modifier uh, down here on our scroll view. We'll say as an alert, the title of delete book is presented bound to dollar showing delete alert. Again, two buttons side here, we'll do button delete with a roll of dot destructive and action of our delete book method. Then there's a button saying cancel with a roll of cancel that does nothing at all. I'm gonna add a message here saying, uh, are you sure? Just to clarify what it's about. And the final step is to add a toolbar item that starts the whole delete process. This has to be a simple Boolean to flip the uh, showing delete alert Boolean from true to false, because our alert modifier is already watching that for changes. And so we'll add one last uh, modifier down here to our scroll view. We'll say the toolbar, toolbar, with a B, button, delete this book, System image, I'll use trash. And when that's pressed, we'll do showing delete alert equals true. 
Okay, so let's press uh, Command R to build and run that code. Hopefully we now we can, again, swipe the delete right here. We can go to edit and done right here, which is nice. Um, when I'm in the book area, we now have this dedicated delete button up here and pressing that says, are you sure? See cancels in blue and bold. Delete is, you know, a regular size font and red telling it's bad. Cancel dismisses the view, fine. Do it again, delete, gets rid of it and goes back to that main list view automatically. That's another app complete. Good job.